Now you have the software installed, it's time to get started. Take the blue response receiver out of the bag and plug it into a spare USB slot on your computer. The first time you do this, you need to activate response, otherwise you will be running on the 30 day trial version. To activate the software, plug in the receiver as a license is held on the receiver itself. Click on the response icon in your system tray and then choose activate. The software will then find the license code and copy it into the box for you. Make a record of the license code, type your email into the license code box and choose next. Response will then activate itself. Whenever you use response, always plug the receiver in first and wait until a message appears in the system tray saying you can turn the handsets on. This only takes a minute or so. During that time your receiver will go through the startup process. You know this is finished when the power light grows green and the other light flashes at a quick rate to tell you that the receiver is transmitting data. Students can then turn their handsets on. The handsets will scan for a class and find the one you have just started. They click enter to join the class, either straight away if you are in anonymous mode or by entering their student ID if you are using a class list. When you have finished your response system, the students can turn their handsets off, but there's no need for this as you can turn them off from your computer. The handsets also turn off automatically when they are not connected with the receiver for around 20 minutes. So disconnecting your receiver will switch off the handsets without them losing any significant battery life.